All right, the secant graph. Y equals a secant of bx minus c, and then plus d on the outside. Very similar to the cosine graph, because you must recall that the secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So our amplitude is the absolute value of a. Our period is 2 pi over b. Our phase shift is negative c over b. And our vertical shift is d. Now let's look at y equals the secant of x. Amplitude is 1. Our period is 2 pi over b, b being the number in front of x. Since there is no number, it's understood to be 1. So our period is 2 pi. There is no phase shift for this problem, and there is no vertical shift. When I was graphing the cosine curves, I like to get myself a starting, middle, and ending point. My starting point, since there is no phase shift, is 0. To find my ending point, I add the period to it. So 0 plus 2 pi is 2 pi. And then my middle point is halfway between them. I remember the cosine graph, it started, the starting point started at a max, the middle point went to the minimum, and the ending point went back to the max. So those points are the same. I have a max, a min, and a max. Now if you remember our cosine curve crossed here at pi over 2, and since secant is the reciprocal, that would represent an asymptote. So we have starting, middle, and ending points tells us our max and mins, and halfway between those points are our vertical asymptotes. And then we just draw our little curves, and there is our secant curve. y equals 2 secant of 3x minus pi, and then plus 1 on the outside. Amplitude is 2, number in front of secant. Our period is 2 pi over b, so that's 2 pi over 3. Our phase shift is opposite of the inside, divided by b, so that's pi over 3. And we have a vertical shift of 1. Starting point is the phase shift, which is pi over 3. We need to get an ending point, so we're going to add to that period. And then we got to add these to starting and the ending points, and we divide by 2, and that gives us our middle point. At these points, we have a max, min, and another max. So we'll look at those right here. Now remember, we shifted our point up 1, so we're looking here at y equals 1 as our middle line. So we went up 2 from there, because our number in front is 2, to get our max point. And we went down 2 from the line y equals 1, 1, 2 to get to our minimum point. Halfway between those, we have our asymptotes. And then we can take a look at our graph. Remember, our graph is shifted up 1. All right, y equals negative secant of 2x divided by 3 plus 2 pi over 3. All right, we have a negative on the outside, so we're going to be starting at a minimum point. Let's take a look. Our amplitude is 1, absolute value of a. Our period is 2 pi over b. So 2 pi divided by 2 thirds. Dividing by 2 thirds, you're going to want to multiply by 3 halves. And 2 pi times 3 halves, the 2's would cross out, be left with 3 pi. Our phase shift is negative c, so opposite of this inside number, divided by b. And that's how we get our negative pi. There is no vertical shift for this problem. And then we're going to get our starting, middle, and ending points. Our starting point is going to be our phase shift. We add to that the period to get our ending point. And then we add these two numbers together, divide by 2, and we get our middle point. Okay. Now remember, this is a negative secant curve. So with our graph, we're going to be starting at a minimum point. So at negative pi, we should be at a minimum point. Then we'll be at a maximum point of pi over 2. And we'll be back at a minimum point of 2 pi. Halfway between these, we have our asymptotes. Here we go. And then we draw our little curves.